Historically, the control and manipulation of political opinion has been the Freemasons' main weapon in gaining control of countries and states. Once in control of the rulers and politicians of a country, laws and political structures could be changed in accordance with their agenda. However, since restricting the body does not necessarily mean restricting the mind, the Freemason recognizes that their plan for a global government hinges completely on subduing the masses to their agenda, and thus eliminating opposition to their cause. And the greatest threat to their plan, posing more danger than any army or law, is the threat of a free-thinking mind. In order to eliminate this threat, and to achieve their objective, the Masons have set about the boldest plan ever devised. The complete control of every aspect of human life. Your life. And the weapons they are using against you are in your very homes, entertaining you and your children, and gradually indoctrinating you without you even realizing. In today's society, people are spending more and more time engaged with modern media, television, cinema, computer games, the internet, popular fiction and popular music are an integral part of our lives. Yet these provide a vast expanse on information which you are taking either consciously or subconsciously into your mind. Information on society ranging from ideals and morals and the difference between right and wrong to the way societies and economies should be structured is passed before you every single day. These media play a significant role in providing the basis for determining an individual's view of the world and everything that exists. Thus, any one group in complete control of this information placed on these media will in effect have the power to indoctrinate practically the entire populace of the world to their way of thinking. And it is this fact that the Freemasons are exploiting. The Masons are using the entertainment industry in particular to condition people to their way of thinking, either openly or subliminally. The methods they use vary, but the goal is the same, to impose their beliefs, their ideology and their objectives on you in such a way that you begin to think of them as your own. Evidence of their presence within popular entertainment is widespread. Masonic involvement in the industry is not a new thing. Hailed as one of history's great composers, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, a Freemason himself, composed a symphony, which was an open display of Freemasonry. The symphony is based on a story taken from Egyptian mythology of Isis and Osiris. The pagan rites of ancient Egyptian mythology form, through the Kabbalah, one of the fundamental aspects of Freemasonry. It is from these same pagan origins of Egypt that the symbol of the one eye stems.